Good evening and welcome to the Varsity Media Sports Network. Coming to you live from the campus of Newark High School, beautiful stadium here on the campus of Newark High School. We have a Section 5 Girls Lacrosse Class D doubleheader for you this evening, starting with the top-seeded Little Irish of Aquinas with a record of 13-4 and four overall against the fourth-seeded Penyan Mustangs with a record of 10-7. and seven. Hello again, everybody. This is Joe Seil. I'll be calling the action for both games for you this evening, and this should be a good one as we have four very evenly matched teams uh, shaking out in Class D. And these two teams did meet during the regular season, Penyan and Aquinas. Penyan winning by a score of 10-9 to 9 just uh, 11 days ago. That was back on the uh, 13th of May. So just about set to go, starting lineups for you uh, include number 25, Sienna Hinchcliffe is going to take this draw for Aquinas. And Bailey Cooper, number 15, will take the draw for Penyan. 25-minute halves here in girls lacrosse. And then this game also is a rematch of last year's Section 5 Class D semifinals in which Aquinas was victorious by a score of 14 to 8. Ball is still loose near the midfield line and finally secured by Aquinas. That's number two, McKenna Brown, who will give the Little Irish the first possession of this game. Brown started trying to go to the goal. She'll pull it back out of the arc. And now they'll work it around the perimeter. Aquinas under the direction of first year coach Savannah Stoy. She's a 2020 graduate of Wells College. Long Island native. There's a nice pass inside for Brown. Her shot sails high over the crossbar, goes out of play. Aquinas will retain possession. Nice feed inside that time by Gianna Leonard, number 16, who has the ball right now behind the goal. She's marked closely there by Aubriana Green, number one for the Mustangs. Mustangs in the blue jerseys with orange trim, white numbers. Aquinas, of course, with the white tops and maroon shorts. There's a shot inside and a goal for number 13 for Aquinas. That's Ryan Springer, who puts the Little Irish on the board first with 23.45 to go in the first goal half. Goal number 13, Ryan Springer. That's goal number 16 on the year for Springer. And the Irish take the early lead here. First shot of the game, or second shot of the game, I should say. And back on the draw control will be Sienna Hinchcliffe, a junior for the Little Irish, number 25. Looks like Jamie Decker, number 21, taking this draw for Penyan. She is a senior. And that one goes high in the air, ball's loose and the official points in the direction of the Irish. So they have the possession again here. No shot clock in high school girls lacrosse. There's a pass inside the arc. Good defense there, though, by the Mustangs. All secured there by Sienna Hinchcliffe. She'll have the ball in her stick quite a bit, leading scorer for the Little Irish. Pass inside, ball's deflected, it's loose on the turf. We got a body flying down and the official points in the direction of the Mustangs. So they will get their first possession here of the opening half. We're just about two minutes in. And the Mustangs looking to clear it. This is Aubriana Green, number one. Nice pass over the midfield line. Good clear here for Penyan, they're on a break. Number six is My Way Miranda Wiltberger. As I mentioned, these teams played just 12 days ago. With Penyan rallying to win, they were down by three goals with 
five minutes to play and came back to win that game. Chris Hansen in his third season coaching the Mustangs. Very tradition-rich program, both boys and girls. Number 14 is Kaylee Griffin for Penyan. Good patience here by Penyan. There's a pass inside, ball's loose. Let's see who comes away with it. And Penyan comes away with it. That's uh, Jamie Decker, number 21, who came away with a loose ball. So extends the possession here for the Mustangs. Number 15 is Bailey Cooper. She's an eighth grader, leading scorer for Penyan. She has the ball on her stick now. Guarded by Hinchcliffe. Cooper again. Good patience here by Penyan. They're just going to hold on, look for an opening. And we got a whistle, and I think we're going to have our first free position opportunity of the ball game. As Kessa Sangasi will stand behind the shooter here. This is Bailey Cooper, number 15 for the Mustangs, the eighth grader that we talked about. Here's the shot, she gets it knocked away and it's scooped up there by the Aquinas goalie, Emma Peterson, and now the Little Irish will start on the break. It's a good defense there by Aquinas to thwart that free position opportunity there by Penyan. That's a good clear for Aquinas. Number 12 is Carissa Schneider. She is a ninth grader, had five goals in the Win on Monday, both of these teams advanced to the semifinals with relative ease. Aquinas beating Gananda Mary in 19 to two. Penyan winning over Minders Romulus by a score of 15 to two. So, wasn't much mystery there. Number 16 for Aquinas is Gianna Leonard. Swings it back up top, that's Carissa Schneider. Actually, that's number two. That's uh, McKenna Brown. Pass inside the arc. Ball's loose. We got a whistle. And it's a foul against the Mustangs. So this will result in the first free position opportunity here for Aquinas. This is Carissa Schneider, a ninth grader. Shoots and right into the stick of the Penyan goalie, Hannah Parsons, who makes a nice save. She's a senior, and now she'll start the Mustangs on the clear. Just over five minutes into this opening half, Aquinas on top, one to nothing, and a goal by Ryan Springer. Good clear there by the Mustangs. This is Bailey Cooper, the eighth grader, makes a move inside. Good defense by the Irish. There's a shot and a goal for Penyan. That's Corinne Barden, number three with the goal, her 28th of the season, and that ties the score at one with 18.58 to go. I think we could credit Bailey Cooper with an assist on that goal. And that ties it up at one apiece. Aquinas, as we mentioned, with a record of 13 and four. Back on the draw, it's Sienna Hinchcliffe for the Little Irish. And Jamie Decker for Penyan. And Cooper comes away with that draw control for the Mustangs. Nice work there to snatch that one out of the sky. Number six is My Way Miranda Wiltberger. Marked tightly there by Sienna Hinchcliffe. Two Hinchcliffe sisters on the Aquinas roster. Savannah, number 10. Sienna, number 25. Number 14 is Kaylee Griffin for Penyan. And number 21, whom we saw in the draw, is Jamie Decker. There's a pass inside, a nice pass inside for Decker, and she delivers for the Mustangs. That was a nice pass from Avery Kastner, number 24, 
who will pick up the assist. And Decker finishes for the Mustangs. That makes the score two to one in favor of Penyan with 18-13 to go in the first half. Back on the draw will be the same two combatants. It'll be Sienna Hinchcliffe for Aquinas and Jamie Decker for Penyan. Beautiful night for a lacrosse doubleheader here from Newark and Hinchcliffe takes that one cleanly for the Little Irish. And she starts toward the goal. Defended well there. There's a shot that goes wide. Good effort there by Sienna Hinchcliffe. But she was defended closely there by Kaylee Griffin for the Mustangs. Aquinas ball on the restart. This is number 16, Gianna Leonard. Passes it up top for number six, that's Lily Bell. Hinchcliffe will show patience here for Aquinas. She's a junior already committed to go to the University of Akron. Number 12, that's Carissa Schneider. Gives it back up to Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe starts toward the goal. Shot and a save made by Parsons. Ball's loose in front, scooped up by Penyan. The Mustangs on the clear. It's intercepted, though, by Schneider. And shoots, shoots, and scores. Carissa Schneider with the alert interception there, and she caught Parsons out of the goal, and it results in an unassisted goal for Carissa Schneider, and that ties the score at two with 17-11 to go in the first half. So nice alert play by Carissa Schneider, her 34th goal of the season. Tough break there for Parsons, who was out of the goal as uh, the Mustangs trying to clear the ball. Can't really falter there. And we got a whistle as we're back on the draw with Jamie Decker for Penyan and Sienna Hinchcliffe for Aquinas. And they're gonna redo this one. That one looked kind of sloppy. Beautiful multi-purpose facility here at Newark. You see the softball lines and the baseball lines. Soccer goals off in the distance. That one's a little bit better. Ball still loose and finally scooped up by number six. That's my way, Miranda Wiltberger for the Mustangs. She gives it up for Gianna Voigt, number five. And number 21, who we've seen, Jamie Decker. Number 14 is Kaylee Griffin. And this is Bailey Cooper, number 15. Corinne Barden's number three. And number 24, whom we had saw earlier, Avery Kastner had an assist. There's a nice pass inside for Cooper. She gets attacked. Nice shot by Cooper. I don't know if they hit the iron or if it was saved by Emma Peterson, but the ball's loose on the ground. And finally scooped up by Kessa Sangasi. Easy to find her. She's the one wearing the helmet, number seven. And they'll award this ball to Aquinas. Clearing attempt now for the Little Irish. That one finds the stick of McKenna Brown, who races it past the midfield line. And she works it all the way into the offensive zone here for the Little Irish. Picked up well defensively. McKenna Brown also has had a good season, 33 goals and 33 assists for her on the year. And number 10 is Savannah Hinchcliffe. This is Gianna Leonard, number 16, defended tightly there by Aubriana Green for the Mustangs. Ball's loose inside the arc. Let's see who's going to get it. And we got a whistle, and they're going to award possession here to Penyan, it looks like. So turnover there for the Little Irish, and now Penyan will be on the clearing attempt. This is the goaltender, Hannah Parsons. First team Finger Lakes League All-Star in 2021. Bailey Cooper's harassed there. They call a foul, and they're going to award possession here to Penyan. Cooper with a big season for the Mustangs. 
50 goals, 27 assists. There's a chance inside and a goal for the Mustangs. That's Kaylee Griffin, number 14. Puts Penyan back on top by a score of 3-2 to two with 14-45 14, to go in the first half. So Kaylee Griffin with her 37th goal of the season. She had four goals, one assist on Monday's quarterfinal win by Penyan over uh, Minders Romulus. She also had four goals and two assists in the earlier meeting with these two clubs. Back in the draw, it'll be Sienna Hinchcliffe again for Aquinas and Jamie Decker for Penyan. That one goes right into the stick of Carissa Schneider for the Little Irish. She uses her speed to work that into the arc and she'll swing it behind the goal for Ryan Springer. Number 10 is Savannah Hinchcliffe, younger sister of Sienna, who has the ball now. McKenna Brown is number two. They'll be patient and swing it behind the goal for Gianna Leonard. Leonard's going to send it all the way back up top for Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe makes a move, shot, a goal for Sienna Hinchcliffe. She went to the goal uncontested there for her first goal of the game, and that ties the score at three apiece with 14.07 to go in this first half. 55th goal of the year for Sienna Hinchcliffe. She does just about everything for the Little Irish. Leads the team with 85 points, 102 draw controls, and 59 caused turnovers coming into the game today. Went five and one in Monday's game. A 19-2 win over Gananda Marion. Aquinas seeking its first ever sectional title in girls lacrosse. Penyan has won eight sectional titles, but they haven't won one since 2006. As uh, Penyan's awarded possession here. This is Mary DeBracci, number 19. And we got a whistle, and we're going to have a timeout as Penyan will take its first timeout of the game with 13.49 to go in the first half. You're listening to Section 5 Girls Lacrosse on the Varsity Sports Network. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go, from people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Invest. Looking for a great way to commemorate this season's sectionals? Section 5 Athletics is excited to work with Mugs and More to offer a variety of apparel options for each sport and each season. Items include graphics specifically developed to feature the sport and year, including items such as hoodies, hats, pants, and more. Apparel for each season is available for a limited time, so don't miss your chance. Visit section5.org slash mugs and more to see the many options and place your order. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. Welcome back to the Varsity Media Sports Network. Joe Sile with you at Newark High School. We we're in the midst of a timeout. Game one of the semifinals in Class D girls lacrosse. We we're tied at three with 13.49 to go in the first half. Coming up at 7 o'clock, we've got the second half of the doubleheader between second-seeded Pal Mack and third-seeded Waterloo, which also figures to be a very competitive game. Pal Mack, the defending Section 5 champion. In fact, uh, they've won it four years in a row, shooting for 
their fifth consecutive sectional title in girls lacrosse. And Penyan will start with it out of the timeout. This is Kaylee Griffin, number 14, a senior midfielder who's headed to St. John Fisher in the fall. Aubriana Green brings it past the midfield line for the Mustangs as they set up a play here. There's a pass inside and a shot, and a, that goes wide. That was a shot by number four, Ruby Berry, who just checked into the game, another eighth grader for the Mustangs, also wearing a protective helmet. This is Griffin again, makes a move, now coughs it up and loses possession. And it's scooped up by Emma Peterson, the little Irish goalie. It's intercepted, and there's a shot and a goal for Pen Yan. That was Corrine Barden who finished that as uh, Ruby Berry made the interception. And Pen Yan is opportunistic here in the first half as they go ahead 4-3 to three with 13.09 to go in the first half. Second goal of the half for Corinne Barden, a ninth grader. She now has 29 goals on the year for the Mustangs. And back on the draw, Sienna Hinchcliffe looks like she's going to take every single draw for the Little Irish. And uh, the Mustangs change things up here. It'll be Kaylee Griffin to take this draw, senior midi. That one shoots high in the air, and it lands into the stick of My Way Miranda Wiltberger for the Mustangs, number six. She gives it up for Barry. And behind it goes for Avery Kastner. This is Barry with it, defended tightly there by Katriana Holperl for the Little Irish. Ball is loose and the turnover and it's picked up there by the Little Irish, Savannah Hinchcliffe, number 10. Running with it on the near side, chased by Barry. She gets shoved and we're gonna have a whistle and a foul against the must. Oh, they're gonna turn that one over to Pen Yan. Looked like Hinchcliffe might have stepped out of bounds there. That's what the turnover was. It was a good defense there by Ruby Barry to force that turnover. Clearing attempt here for the Mustangs, far side of the field. It's uh, Taylor Mullins, number nine with it. She'll swing it behind. Number three is Barden. We talked about two goals for her. And that one falls out of the stick of Griffin and it's scooped up there by Savannah Hinchcliffe. And now this is Sienna Hinchcliffe. Far side of the field using her speed to bring that one past the midfield line. Chased closely there by Bailey Cooper. Good clear there for the Little Irish. Down to 11 and a half minutes to go here, first half. Penyan on top, four to three. A very competitive girls lacrosse semifinal game here from Newark High School. Here's Hinchcliffe guarded by Griffin. Pass inside and a shot and a goal for the Little Irish. Nice quick stick there by Haley Bennett, number 21 for Aquinas, scoring her first goal of the game. Sienna Hinchcliffe will pick up the assist and that ties the score at four with 11.07 to go first half. So we mentioned Pen Yan with uh, eight sectional titles to their credit. Not one since 2006, though. They lost in the 2018 finals to Palmac. They won a state Class B title in 1998 and 2004. They also reached the state finals in 2001. That one shoots high in the air on the draw. It's still loose as it heads toward the near side, but it's scooped up by McKenna Brown for the Little Irish. Good ground ball there for Brown, and she'll move it all the way into the offensive zone here for Aquinas. She has it knocked loose momentarily, but Sienna Hinchcliffe is there to scoop it up and maintain possession for Aquinas. 
Nice pass inside. There's a shot that's knocked away by Hannah Parsons. That was Gianna Leonard right on the doorstep there. Not able to finish. Clock continues to run. 10.20 to go here in the opening half. Hinchcliffe with a pass inside. Behind the back shot there by McKenna Brown. That goes wide and out of bounds. And I think they're going to award possession here to Penn Yan as they were closest to us as it went out of bounds. Clearing attempt here by the Mustangs. This is My Way Miranda Wiltberger, number six. Anna Parsons has it now. This is Aubriana Green, number one. Head for Haley, or that is uh, Mary DeBracci, number 19, with it. Corin Barden, number three. This is Avery Kastner, number 24. Marked tightly there by Elena Del Corvo for Aquinas, number 20. That pass is knocked away by the Little Irish. That was McKenna Brown who got her stick on that, and she scoops up the ground ball and starts to clear for the Little Irish. Yeah, we got a whistle, and Aquinas is going to take a timeout this time. We're tied at four with 9.03 to go in the first half. You're watching Section 5 Lacrosse on the Varsity, Sports, Varsity Media Sports Network. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd. We'll help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, with answers just a phone call away, it's banking that fits your life. Banking on the go from people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, investing in you. Welcome back to the Varsity Media Sports Network. Joe Sile with you with 9.03 to go in the first half. We've got a good one here in Section 5, Class D Girls Lacrosse. We're tied at four from Newark High School. Two first-half goals for Corinne Barden for Penyan has uh, helped the Mustangs keep this game close. And uh, Haley Bennett came off the bench to score a goal for Aquinas to tie the score moments ago. That came off an assist from Sienna Hinchcliffe, who also has a goal here in the first half for the Little Irish. As we mentioned, this is a rematch of last year's semifinals, which uh, Aquinas prevailed by a score of 14-8 to eight on their way to the championship game where they met, met up with Pal Mack. And Penyan with a rich history, a good following of fans here in the stands here at Newark. And we'll head back. It'll be uh, Aquinas Ball coming out of the timeout. The Irish coached by Savannah Stoy in her first season. And McKenna Brown, number two, a senior midfielder. They'll take a jog behind the goal. Into the, right through the baseball infield, if you will. Brown still has it, trying to make a move, looking to feed it. She'll carry it all the way to the top of the arc. Makes a move on her way to the goal. Shot, that goes wide. I'm not sure if that caught the stick of Hannah Parsons, the Penyan goaltender. But Aquinas will maintain possession. Let's 
Sienna Hinchcliffe with it, number 25. Playing the goal for Gianna Leonard, number 16. Still has it, feeds it inside for Hinchcliffe. Her shot sails high over the crossbar, and this one's going to go to Penyan as no one was backing up there for the Little Irish. Clock still running with eight minutes to go. First half, tied at four. Everything we thought we would see, we are seeing here. We knew this would be a close game, as will the second game between Palmac and Waterloo that we'll have for you at 7 o'clock. Clearing attempt for Penyan, and Aubriana Green's in some trouble here on the near side, trying to clear it. No time limit, though, in terms of getting this ball past the midfield line. But Aquinas making it very difficult. That one's knocked off the stick of number eight, Rebecca Hayes. Nice defensive play there by Carissa Schneider for the Little Irish to get the possession back to Aquinas. Hinchcliffe, the junior midfielder, do-it-all player for the Little Irish. Leads the team in draw controls, cause turnovers. Here's Hinchcliffe on her way to the goal. She's going to carry it behind. We got a whistle. And we got a violation there against the Mustangs, and this, I believe, is going to result in a free position opportunity here for Sienna Hinchcliffe. Anna Parsons, the goalie for Penyan. Here's Hinchcliffe with the shot and the goal. So Sienna Hinchcliffe enables Aquinas to regain the lead with a free position goal. Her second goal of the game makes it 5-4 to four in, terms in favor of Aquinas with 6.35 to go in the first half. Hinchcliffe carried that all the way in, almost to the goal crease, and... Uh, was able to thread a shot over the left shoulder of Hannah Parsons for the fifth goal for the Little Irish. And it'll be Hinchcliffe on the draw here. Kaylee Griffin for Penyan. Griffin's got a goal in this game. Hinchcliffe with two goals and one assist. There's a whistle. That one goes into the direction of Schneider, who picks it up. And she sends it over to McKenna Brown, number two. Brown works her way into the arc. She gets picked up there. Here's Hinchcliffe again. She attracts the double team. And she'll pull it back out. Game of patience and opportunity here in this first half. Down to six minutes to play. Jana Leonard will swing it behind the goal for Ryan Springer. And that one's passed inside. It's turned over by the Little Irish, and it's scooped up by Kaylee Griffin for the Mustangs. Another clearing attempt here for Penyan. This is Hannah Parsons, the goaltender. This is My Way, Miranda Wiltberger with it. Sends it ahead for Maria Debracci. And finally, they get it over the midfield line. This is Griffin with it, number 14. Swings it behind. Avery Kastner. Good defense there by Elena Del Corvo for Aquinas, number 20. Good ball movement there by the Mustangs as they swing it around the perimeter of their offense. Jamie Decker's 21 there, marked tightly there by Sangasi. There's a shot and a goal. Nice move there by Jamie Decker to create some space. And she ties the score at five apiece with her second goal of the game with 4.47 to go in the first half. Jamie Decker, a senior midfielder, second team, Finger Lakes League All-Star in 2021, headed to Hartwick College next year. Yeah. 
Sienna Hinchcliffe, who's taken all the draws here for Aquinas in the first half, will take this one against Kaylee Griffin for the Mustangs. That one's loose and it's snagged out of the air there by Bailey Cooper for the Mustangs. The eighth grader, look at the speed she's got. Shoots and scores. Bailey Cooper with a strong move to the goal. And she gets her first goal of the game. She'd been pretty silent. She did have an assist earlier. Goal number 15, Bailey Cooper. She showed excellent acceleration there and delivers the high shot that uh, eludes the Aquinas goalie, Emma Peterson, for a 6-5 lead for the Mustangs with 4.37 to go in the first half. Hinchcliffe on this draw, and it's Jamie Decker now back in there for Penn Yan. Decker and Griffin have taken most of the draws here, and Hinchcliffe will scoop up this ground ball for another draw control win. Sends it inside. There's a shot and a goal for Aquinas. That's Savannah Hinchcliffe. Takes the pass from her sister to tie the score at six apiece. Aquinas goal, number 10, Savannah Hinchcliffe. So that did not take long. For them to tie the score, Savannah Hinchcliffe, she's had a great year. She's a freshman, had four goals in Monday's game. And now has 51 goals on the season. Another midfielder for the Little Irish. Sienna Hitchcliffe will do the draw control again against Jamie Decker. That one goes off the stick of Schneider and still loose. Still loose near the midfield circle and finally scooped up there by Savannah Hinchcliffe for Aquinas. Gianna Leonard, number 16, has it. Marked tightly there by Aubriana Green for the Mustangs. Number two is McKenna Brown, tries to make a move, shoots and nice save there by Parsons. To keep this game tied. Hannah Parsons with a big save for the Mustangs. Nice outlet pass there too into the stick of Kaylee Griffin. Clearing attempt here for the Mustangs. They're successful, Jamie Decker with it now. Here's Cooper. Cooper gets double team, gets knocked to the turf and it's gonna be a foul against the Little Irish. Elena Del Corvo with the foul. Not a free position opportunity though. She wasn't inside the arc that time. Del Corvo, a defender for the Little Irish, headed to Mercyhurst in the fall. Nice skip pass there for Griffin. Her shot sails wide out of play. Mustangs will maintain possession. Backing up there was Avery Kastner for Penyan. Number three, Corinne Barden. This is Cooper again. Patience here by the Mustangs. They almost lose it. That's uh, Ruby Barry, number four. Down under two minutes to go here in this first half. Deadlocked at six. Kaylee Griffin as uh, 
Sienna Hinchcliffe tried to go for the takeaway there, went over the head there and committed a foul. Not a free position shot, though, outside the arc again. Here's Decker with it. She'll swing it back outside the arc. Castor tries to feed it inside, looking for Decker. Ball's loose, though. Let's see who comes away with it. Yeah, we got a whistle, and they're going to award possession here to Aquinas. Clock running with 1.10 to go here. Good speed here by Kessa Sangazi as she brings it over the midfield line. Number 16 is Gianna Leonardi. Good defense there by Abriana Green for Penyan, number one. And now Hinchcliffe with it. Forty-five to go. Good patience here. Looks like Aquinas will be content to wait for one shot here before the half ends. Leonardi still with it. Now fifteen seconds. Makes a move. Starts toward the goal, stick in the left hand, shot. That might have skimmed off the top of the crossbar. But Hannah Parsons, the Penyan goalie, right on it. As the seconds tick off here, this might be it for the first half. And it is. That'll do it for the first half of play with the score. Aquinas 6, Penyan 6. You're listening to Section 5 Girls Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Okay. Over the middle, he's got a man. It's complete. See you later. See you later. Going long, wide open. Perazzi, he gets it. Perazzi, foot raise, and five. Make it. Touchdown. Punch, power punch. The trickery rider gets it back. Goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! As Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is going to take this in the other direction. Make it! Touchdown! Touchdown, East! When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away, and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it. Because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports.
Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd will help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, with answers just a phone call away, it's banking that fits your life. Banking on the go from people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, investing in you. Welcome back to the Varsity Sports Media Network. Joe Sile with you here at halftime. we got about three minutes before the start of the second half. We are tied at six apiece. And it was, it's been every bit as close as we thought it would be. Neither team leading in that first half by more than a goal. So it's uh, been a very uh, competitive first half. Let's take a look at the uh, Class D girls lacrosse bracket, if you will, the Section 5 girls lacrosse, see how these teams got here. Aquinas, the top seed, was a 19-2 to winner over Gananda Marion. That was on Monday. And then Penyan, the fourth seed, a 15-2 to winner over Minders Romulus. That was also on Monday. And in the other side of the bracket, second-seeded Waterloo was a 16-3 winner over Marcus Whitman. And Pal Mack, the third seed, was a 12-7 winner over Livonia Avon. And uh, that, that game will be coming up at 7 o'clock tonight. And the championship game is uh, next Wednesday, a week from today, uh, June 1st. Uh, that uh, site has not been determined as of yet. Uh, take a look at uh, a couple of the impact players and both were impactful in that first half. Sienna Hinchcliffe, the uh, junior from Aquinas, two goals, two assists in that first half. And uh, she came in as uh, Aquinas' do-everything type of player. She leads the team in scoring with 85 points. Also 102 draw controls and 59 cost turnovers. She's the team leader in all three of those uh, categories. And she was the uh, Big factor in Monday's win over Gananda Marion. She had five goals and one assist in that game. And she also uh, was a big performer the first time these two teams met about 12 days ago. She had five goals, one assist in that 10-9 uh, to nine loss to uh, the Mustangs. And for Penyan, Bailey Cooper, just an eighth grader. And she had two, uh, one goal and one assist in the first half. And she comes in as uh, Penyan's leading scorer with 77 points on 50 goals and 27 assists. Also leads the team in draw controls with 74, ground balls with 47. And she had four goals and one assist in Monday's win for Penyan over Minders Romulus. And the first meeting between these two teams, Bailey Cooper with four goals in that one. She was a big spark plug and a reason why uh, Penyan was able to prevail 10-9, to a come-from-behind win over Aquinas back on May the 13th. So we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back with the start of the second half right after this. Looking for a great way to commemorate this season's sectionals? Section 5 Athletics is excited to work with Mugs & More to offer a variety of apparel options for each sport and each season. Items include graphics specifically developed to feature the sport and year, including items such as hoodies, hats, pants, and more. Apparel for each season is available for a limited time, so don't miss your chance. Visit section5.org slash mugs and more to see the many options and place your order today. Welcome back to the Varsity Media Sports Network. Joe Sile with you. Just about set for the start of the second half. Tied at six if you're into... Statistical differences, there's not really much to work with here. Aquinas with 10 shots in the first half, 7 for Penyan. Those are unofficial numbers. And we'll switch sides. This time uh, Penyan will be going from left to right as you're watching, and Aquinas on the other side. Aquinas in the white 
uniform tops with the maroon shorts and Penyan in the nifty blue uniform tops and shorts with the orange trim. Kaylee Griffin, number 14, will take this draw for Penyan. It'll be Sienna Hinchcliffe for the Little Irish. And let's see if either team can get more than a one-goal advantage here in the second half. As Aquinas takes that draw, Savannah Hinchcliffe, she had a goal in the first half. Collects the ground ball there, and the draw control win for the Little Irish, who will get the first possession here of the second half. Number 16 is Gianna Leonardi. She's going to swing this all the way back up top for Hinchcliffe. Always a good idea to have the ball in her stick. She switches to the left hand and brings it outside. Tries to work her way toward the crease. Shot and a nice save there by Hannah Parsons. That was a point-blank effort there by Sienna Hinchcliffe. And Parsons makes a big save to keep this game tied. And we got a whistle. Let's see what the call is here. We're going to move Hinchcliffe back behind the goal crease. She might have stepped in, her, in the crease there. That was the violation on her shot attempt. Clearing attempt here for the Mustangs. Taylor Mullins is number nine. She'll get it over the midfield line, but it's over the head of the intended receiver, Jamie Decker, and it's scooped up by Del Corvo for Aquinas, number 20. Del Corvo being chased. She's going to reverse field. Number eight is Catriana Whole Pearl. She's running toward the midfield line. Still has it. And she was triple team there. The whistle favors Aquinas, though. They're going to spread the defenders out. And Whole Pearl will give it up here now for McKenna Brown, number two. She uses her speed to work this one past the midfield line and create an opportunity here for the Irish. Into the arc. And we got a whistle. Oh, I thought we had a whistle. I thought maybe we had a shooting space violation, but not so much. McKenna Brown still with it. Senior midfielder for Aquinas headed to Lock Haven, Division II Lock Haven down in Pennsylvania. There's a pass inside. Shot and another save by Parsons. That was Savannah Hinchcliffe that time bidding for the goal that would untie the score. But a nice save again by Parsons, who's been sharp here in this game. Clearing attempt, Aubriana Brown, or Green, rather. That goes through the stick of the intended receiver, but Penyan able to maintain possession here. Green will redirect it for Rebecca Hayes, number eight. And now they clear it efficiently. This is Bailey Cooper, number 15. One goal, one assist in the first half. Works her way into the arc. Shot is deflected, and we got a whistle. And they're going to have a violation here, I believe, against the Little Irish, and it's going to result in a free position opportunity here for Bailey Cooper. Bailey Cooper, the eighth grader, wears number 15. And Emma Peterson is the goalie. Here's the attempt by Cooper and the goal. She showed good patience that time. So Penyan with the first goal of the second half. It's a free position goal for Bailey Cooper with 21.46 to go in the second half. So for Cooper, that's her second goal of the game. 52 goals on the year. And yeah, goal number 15, Bailey Cooper. And Hinchcliffe will take this draw. It'll be Kaylee Griffin this time for Penyan. We've seen Griffin and Jamie Decker taking the draws for Penyan. It's been Sienna Hinchcliffe exclusively for Aquinas. That one shoots high in the air, and it's retrieved there by My Way Miranda Wiltberger for the Mustangs. She'll swing it to Cooper. Gianna Voigt is number five for Penyan. 21 is Jamie Decker. Now Cooper being marked tightly there by Sienna Hinchcliffe. That's an interesting matchup. 
They might just try to shut her right off, not try to let, just keep the ball out of her stick exclusively. There's a chance, there's a shot and a goal for Penyan. That's Corinne Barden with her third goal of the game. And for the first time, the Mustangs have opened up a two goal advantage with 20.57 to go. That goal came just 49 seconds after the goal by Cooper that untied the score. And now we got a two point lead, or two goal lead rather, for the Mustangs. who have uh, come out firing here in the second half. That was a left-handed shot by Barden for her 30th goal of the year, including three in this game. And now Aquinas has switched it up at the draw position as uh, Savannah Hinchcliffe, number 10, will take this draw. First time we haven't seen her sister, Sienna. This one goes into the stick of My Way Miranda Wiltberger for Penyan. There's a whistle and a foul on the Little Irish. Number five, Gianna Voigt. Avery Kastner's number 24. Marked closely there by Elena Del Corvo for Aquinas. Good defense by Del Corvo. They'll swing it back outside. This is Kaylee Griffin. Marked there by Carissa Schneider. Kastner looking for a cutter. No one open there. But with no time restriction here, she can hold the ball for as long as she feels she needs to. Del Corvo continues to defend. There's a pass inside the crease. It's loose. Cooper with a shot. She fires a left-handed shot over the crossbar. And I think they're going to award her a uh, shooting space attempt here. Kessa Sangasi will stand behind as Cooper will get another free position opportunity. Here it is. She gets toward the goal, shoots and scores. So Bailey Cooper with another goal, a free position goal, her second of the half. And now suddenly the Mustangs have opened up a three goal lead, nine to six with 19-12 to go. So Cooper, very dynamic. That's her third goal of the game now, second of the half. And she shoots the ball quickly, left-handed shot there that time. So unofficially three shots in this second half for Penyan and all have found the mark. Sienna Hinchcliffe for Aquinas back on this draw. Kaylee Griffin for Penyan. That one's snagged by Carissa Schneider for Aquinas. Irish looking for their first goal of this half. And there's a shot and there it is. Gianna Leonardi with her first goal of the game. Unassisted goal. That comes just 16 seconds after the goal by Cooper and makes it nine to seven. And that was a big goal for Aquinas. They didn't want this one to get too much farther out of hand. It's uh, been a close game all the way. And uh, Penyan with that three goal lead, but now it's been cut to two. Back in the draw control, balls loose at the midfield line, scooped up by my way, Miranda Wiltberger. Now it's taken away from her, still loose, but Miranda Wiltberger gets it back. Marked really tightly there on the far side by Carissa Schneider. And they're going to call foul on the Little Irish. Hey, 
And that one goes over the head of Jamie Decker, and it's scooped up by Aquinas. That's a Ryan Springer, number 13. Sends it across the midfield line for Lily Bell, number six. We got a whistle. And Bell will continue into the arc. Loses control. Let's see what they're going to call here. Lily Bell, number six, is going to get a free position opportunity. She is a ninth grader midfielder for Aquinas. And she's going to pull this one back out, gives it up to Hinchcliffe. Let Hinchcliffe shoot it. A good defense there by the Mustangs. There's a pass inside for Brown. Back to Hinchcliffe. She tries to work around a screen by Brown, but Griffin is there to defend. Hinchcliffe is going to jog it behind the goal. Looking to feed. Nobody inside the arc. This is Springer. Is it up for Leonardi? Leonardi guarded there by Aubriana Green, number one. Leonardi behind the goal, looking for a cutter. That one's inter almost intercepted by Miranda Wiltberger. Ball is loose on the far side, and it's finally scooped up by the Mustangs. Good defense there by Penyan, and good speed there by Taylor Mullins, who sprints it past the midfield line for Penyan. Here's Green over the midfield line for Bailey Cooper. Cooper makes a move. Sends it behind the goal now for Barden. Barden and Cooper each with three goals for the Mustangs. Cooper, I have a feeling we're going to hear a lot, of, lot more about her, just an eighth grader. And we've got a whistle and a foul against Aquinas. Sangasi will stand behind Cooper. Kaylee Griffin, number 14. Aquinas has kind of extended its defense out, kind of pushed Penyan back. Here's Griffin, moves into the arc, and we got a whistle. And another shooting space violation against Aquinas. And Kaylee Griffin will get a chance here for Penyan, number 14. Emma Peterson's a goalie. Instead, Griffin will send that behind the goal. She... Gives up the opportunity for a free shot. This is Miranda Wiltberger, number six. And she makes a move. Feeds it inside. Shot and a save. That was Barden bidding for her fourth goal, but a great save there by Emma Peterson right on the doorstep. And now a clearing attempt here for Aquinas. Alyssa Malin is number 15 on the far side. And that pass intended for Brown can't be handled. It's loose in the circle. And finally Aquinas comes away with it. This is Leonardi with it, number 16. Good recovery there by the Mustangs as Hinchcliffe tries to make her way to the goal. Nice pass inside for Brown. She's defended well. And now Brown gets tripped up and we got a whistle. And this is going to result in an opportunity here for McKenna Brown. Brown's been held in check here by the Mustangs in this game. She had 33 goals coming in, but has yet to deliver in this game. Let's see what she does here. There's a shot and a goal. Just what the doctor ordered for the Irish as... McKenna Brown scores for the first time in a free position opportunity to make it 9-8 to eight with 13.37 to go. So we had just one 
free position goal in the first half. We've had three already in the second, two by Bailey Cooper and now one by McKenna Brown. Clock stopped at 13.37 to go. Penyan had a 9-6 lead, but the Little Irish have come back. Goals by Leonardi and Brown to make it 9-8. There's a whistle. They're going to award possession to Penyan. The official pointed in the wrong direction initially. And Cooper with it now, being chased by Schneider. And gets it knocked out of her stick, and Schneider getting it called for a foul. Got a little too close that time. Cooper switches hands, delivers it to Miranda Wiltberger. Cooper marked closely there. He shot, oh, quick release there by Bailey Cooper. That one sails high and over the crossbar. Corinne Barden, number three. Marked there by Bridget Palmer for Aquinas, number 18. Ruby Barry, number four. Here's Cooper with it, looking to feed it. Uh, Decker switches hands, switches again. That shot sails high over the crossbar again. So Penyan continues to apply some pressure here as we approach the 12 minute mark in the second half. Two 25 minute halves in girls high school lacrosse. Here's Griffin. Good patience here by the Mustangs as they work the ball around the offensive perimeter. Barden is number three, marked tightly there by Palmer. Barden tried to work around a screen there by Cooper. Here's Griffin again, stick in the left hand, shoots and scores. Kaylee Griffin with her second goal of the game as the Mustangs regain their two goal lead at 10 to eight. 11-11 exactly to play here in the second half. So second goal of the game for Griffin and 38 goals on the year. She's headed to St. John Fisher in the fall. Sienna Hinchcliffe will take this draw for Aquinas. And Griffin for the Mustangs. That one shoots high in the air and right into the stick of My Way Miranda Wiltberger. Now Haley Bennett, number 21, it was her turn to pick up Bailey Cooper. Good defense there by Bennett. Cooper tries to work around a screen and I'm gonna call a foul there on Aquinas. Far enough away from the goal though where it won't be very impactful. Here's Cooper with a little bit of space up top now but she gives it up. So 
So Penyan, good possession time in the second half. That's been a big difference. Here's Cooper, loose again. Good defensive slide that time though by Mackenzie Brown, McKenna Brown rather. There's a chance for Griffin, gets inside, shot, sails over the crossbar. Backing up for Penyan is Corinne Barden, number three. So they'll maintain possession here. 9.20 to play. Here's Barden working her way toward the goal. Back up top for Griffin. And the Mustangs just content here to play catch right now as uh, that was a dangerous pass there. But Griffin able to retrieve it. Extend the possession, nice defensive play there by McKenna Brown and we're gonna call a foul on Penyan. So McKenna Brown with the takeaway from Kaylee Griffin and they're gonna call another foul here against the Mustangs as Brown tries to clear it for Aquinas. This time she gets into the stick of Sienna Hinchcliffe and she's got a head of steam as she heads into the offensive zone inside the arc and we got a whistle. And they're going to stop the clock. I think they're going to uh, issue a yellow card here, and that's what it is. Against Mary DeBracci, number 19 for the Mustang. She's the one wearing the helmet, and she'll have to sit out here. And Hinchcliffe is going to get a free position opportunity out of this with 8.32 to go. That's a two-minute yellow card against DeBracci. So the Mustangs play a player short. There's a shot by Hinchcliffe and a goal. So a big goal there by Sienna Hinchcliffe. And once again, it's a one goal game at 10 to nine with 8.31 to go. And it looks like DeBracci will continue to serve that penalty. Looks like she got her stick up close to the head of uh, Sienna Hinchcliffe that time, and that was the result of what the violation was. So the Mustangs will play a player short here for the next minute and 59 seconds now. Great game here, 10 to 9. It's been close the entire way. And now they're going to award possession again to Aquinas as they will get possession here to try to tie the score. Hinchcliffe inside the arc, shot and a goal. So just like that, Sienna Hinchcliffe with an unassisted goal. And we are tied at 10 with 8.12 to go. So two goals by Hinchcliffe in the span of 21 seconds and we are back where we started, all even. And both those goals came uh, after the yellow card issued to Mary DeBracci, who still sits on the sideline. She's got a minute 40 left on her penalty. That ball's loose, and Griffin has the stick knocked right out of her hand. But they're going to award possession to the Mustangs here. So Penyan ball here on the restart. Kaylee Griffin with it. Redirects it for Aubriana Green. And this is Rebecca Hayes, number eight. Taylor Mullins, number nine. Mullins trying to work her way over the midfield line. Hinchcliffe with the over-the-head check, but uh, that one goes out of bounds. Penyan will get possession. Mustangs dangerously close there to turning it over on the near side here as they were tight-roping the sideline. Aubriana Green is number one. She'll carry it over the midfield line. Good aggressive defense there by Aquinas. But the Mustangs able to clear it. Approaching the seven minute mark, tied at 10 here. 
Section 5, Class D, girls lacrosse, semifinals from Newark High School. Beautiful facility here. Kastner was double teamed, somehow got out of that. Able to deliver it to Miranda Wiltberger. This is Griffin, marked closely there by Savannah Hinchcliffe. This is Kastner. Kastner tries to work through the double team. And they're going to blow the whistle, but the Mustangs will maintain possession. The penalty to Debracci has expired, so she's back out there. Teams at even strength. Here's Kastner looking to feed it inside the arc. No one open. Jamie Decker's 21. And here's Cooper. They want the ball on her stick if they can get it there. She attracts immediate attention from Haley Bennett, though, from Aquinas. Here's Cooper. Swings it for Barden. Pass inside. Shot and a goal. Nice work there by the Mustangs. As uh, Miranda Wiltberger will get the... Goal for the Mustangs, her first of the game. And it comes off a great pass there by Avery Kastner. That comes with 5.41 to go, and the Mustangs regain their one-goal lead here at 11-10. to 10. They've led for most of this second half, but Aquinas uh, has been resilient here. Shaping up very similar to the meeting they had 12 days ago where Penyan prevailed 10-9. This will be Hinchcliffe on the draw against Kaylee Griffin. And they're going to redo this draw. So a big goal there by Wiltberger, her 14th goal of the season, first of the game. Found some space just in front of the crease. Able to beat Emma Peterson, the Aquinas goalie. And this one's controlled by the Irish. Carissa Schneider, number 12, corrals that draw control. Here's Leonardi. Pass in for Hinchcliffe, shoots and scores. Nice pass by Leonardi to free up Sienna Hinchcliffe for the tying goal. 5-10 to go. 11-11, to that comes just 31 seconds after Miranda Wiltberger's goal. Third goal of this second half for Sienna Hinchcliffe. She's got five in the game to go with a couple of assists. So she's been the dominant force here for Aquinas. And back on the draw, this will be a huge draw control. Everyone from here on out will be huge. And that one shoots right to the near side. This may go out of bounds. Let's see. Now Schneider tiptoeing the sideline. She gets pushed out by Miranda Wiltberger. They're going to award a possession here to Aquinas. Carissa Schneider grabbed that draw control and was pushed out there by my way, Miranda Wiltberger. Schneider will be double teamed right from the get-go here. Bailey Cooper and Avery Kastner right there, and she gets pushed out again, and they're going to call a foul again in the Mustangs. Clock continues to run. We're down to 4.20 to go. And there goes Schneider. She'll race right past the defenders into the arc. There's a wide open 
Ryan Springer had a great chance there, but uh, elected to pull that one back out. This is Leonardi. Here's the pass for Brown. Her shot sails wide. Let's see if it's going to go out of bounds. It does. Aquinas will maintain possession here. Sienna Hinchcliffe now with the ball. Yeah, Aquinas is just going to take their time. It's on their side now. No shot clock here. Here's Hinchcliffe again, working her way inside. Under three minutes now. Hinchcliffe behind the goal. Tries to make a move. Defended well there by Kaylee Griffin. And she'll just take her time and walk it back out. So Aquinas has had the ball here for well over a minute now. Yeah, they may be content just to wait until one last good opportunity. There's Hinchcliffe shot, a point blank save by Hannah Parsons. And that one's knocked out of the stick of Jamie Decker and it's picked up by Savannah Hinchcliffe. And we got a whistle and a violation there against the Mustangs. I think this is gonna result in a Opportunity here for Savannah Hinchcliffe. Free position, we're under two minutes to go. Savannah Hinchcliffe, the freshman. There's the shot, that goes wide. Aquinas is there backing up though. Ryan Springer was back there. A minute and a half to go now. If you're wondering how these teams have fared in extracurricular competition, AKA overtime, it's, uh, there, is no, there is no stat for it. Either team has had an overtime game. There's Hinchcliffe in tight and she shoots and oh, they're gonna wave it off. They claim that she stepped in the crease. So they're gonna stop the clock with 1.02 to go. And Big call there as Sienna Hinchcliffe stepped in the crease, so they're going to disallow the goal. We'll take a quick break here as Penn Yan takes a timeout. You're, listening, you're watching Section 5 Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Arjula over the middle. He's got a man. It's complete. See you later. See you later. Going long. Wide open. Perazzi. He gets it. Perazzi. Foot raise. 10, 5. Make it! Touchdown! Punch! Power punch! The trickery rider gets it back, goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! Just Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is going to take this in the other direction. Make it! Touchdown! Touchdown, East! When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, Knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network. The home for New York high school sports. Welcome back to the Varsity Media Sports Network. Joe Sile with you. One minute and two seconds to go in the second half of this thrilling semifinal game in Class D girls lacrosse. Penyan and 
Aquinas are deadlocked at 11 apiece. It'll be Penyan ball when we resume play here coming out of the timeout. Sienna Hinchcliffe had a golden chance to untie the score, bidding for her sixth goal of the game, but she inadvertently stepped in the crease, so the official was right there to call the violation, and it results in a turnover, and Penyan will have the ball and an opportunity to hold for the last shot if they choose to. First things first, though, they're going to have to clear the ball from their own end. And this will start with uh, Hannah Parsons, the senior goalie, a veteran goalie for the Mustangs. Number 30 has the ball in her stick in her own crease. Pressure by Aquinas here. This is Aubriana Green, number one. She's going to sprint it up the far side. And ahead it goes through the stick, though, of Debracci. And, and they lose possession. And uh, McKenna Brown comes away with it for the Irish. Here's a chance for Leonardi. Shoots and scores. Gian, Gianni, Gianna Leonardi with just 32 seconds to go. Unties the score, it's 12-11 now. In favor of Aquinas. Penyan had trouble clearing the ball there. And Leonardi capitalizes for the Little Irish. And to say that this draw control is huge is an understatement. Sienna Hinchcliffe will take it for Aquinas. It'll be Kaylee Griffin for the Mustangs. The Mustangs got to have it here. That one shoots toward the sideline. And we got a violation here. I think they're going to award po possession to Penyan here with just 20 seconds to go. They got to hurry to get a shot off. And She's pushed out of bounds. That was Taylor Mullins. Clock stopped with 15 seconds to go. Here goes Griffin with it. Aquinas defending. Griffin. Griffin with the ball still into the sphere. Shot goes over the crossbar with six seconds left. Clock stops in the last two minutes on every whistle. And it looks like they're going to award possession to Aquinas here. And that will should effectively end this game. McKenna Brown, and that will do it. Final score, Aquinas 12, Penyan 11. What a game here. As Aquinas gets the game-winning goal from Gianna Leonardi. That was... Her second goal of the second half, and it untied the score, made it 12-11, and Aquinas wins it, and they'll advance to the Class D final next Wednesday against the winner of the upcoming game between Waterloo and Palmac. So we want to thank you for watching the first semifinal. We hope the second one's as thrilling as the first, and uh, but we'll be back with that one at about 7 o'clock. So stick around on the... Varsity Media Sports Network.